Welcome back. A new study says you might be exercising too much. In other words, spend more time on the couch, less time in the gym for a longer life. I'm serious. There is a study right now that's saying overexercise carries some risks. And here's what they lay out. You exercise too much, it will impair cell function, cause stress fractures and inflammation, fatigue and irritability, disrupt immune system, cause poor sleep, dampen motivation, and hurt performance. It sounds terrible, right? It must be far safer to sit on the couch and have some Doritos, which evidently our graphics department had some fun with. But the study itself might be the biggest risk of all. Dr. Bob Lahita is here, clinical professor of medicine at Rutgers, New Jersey Medical School. I know my father is watching, and I promise the next time I tell him, hey, Dad, you need to go out and walk, on the golf course, he's going to go, no, no, I heard on News Nation, too much exercise is bad for me. Well, I think that's an overstatement. I think this all has to be put in perspective, Leland. The age of the person, the, um, the gender of the person, and the fitness level of the individual is extremely important. So if you're overweight and you decide to run a 26.2 uh, a mile marathon, that is not a good thing. And we have seen that every single year in various cities around the country. People that train and know what they're doing train appropriately. That means that if you're lifting weights, that you should have free weight exercise like every third day, not every day, for example. Because stress fractures, as you mentioned, poor sleep, and other issues, particularly in my instance, which I wrote in my book, Immunity Strong, decreased immune function happens for those who are extreme exercisers. And I used to be- Is there a worry when you, as a doctor, you see all these studies that come out, hey, drink red wine, hey, uh, <laughs> alcohol isn't that bad for you, hey, you can have a Snickers bar, hey, too much exercise may be, uh, may be bad for you, on and on and on. At some level, does that hurt the cause and hurt your cause when you tell the average patient, hey, lose weight, cut down on alcohol, and exercise more? No, no. I, I imply or I implore patients to exercise. It's very important to either run, and you can run maybe three miles or for 30 minutes every three days, depending on your age, the 60 to 75 year olds, for example, which I probably your father's in that range, two intense exercise days, that's like 30 minutes, plus one light exercise day increases muscle mass and increases strength. So I'm not saying that people should not exercise. No, 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 no I understand. I, I guess my, my question is like, you, you see these headlines, uh, Everyday beer drinking could actually improve your gut health. Drinking wine uh, leads to two unexpected health perks. Is cheese bad for you? Study says eating more won't raise risk of cholesterol-related heart disease. As you point out, like on the margin, some of these can be true. Yes, overexercise is possible, but for 99.9% .9 of the population, it's an excuse to just do this. The study becomes an excuse to do what you want to do that's not good for you. Yeah, and if that's what they do, if they do not exercise, it is they're at their own peril because the best thing for an individual is aerobic, that means oxygen consuming exercise on, if possible, a daily basis. If not, depending on your age and fitness, every other day. I highly recommend it. We know it builds muscle. It, it really allows you to breathe better, increases your resistance to infection and avoids uh, fractures. Okay, so dad and I will be walking uh for golf uh, July 4th weekend. Um, obesity, Great. obesity and age, and I, I, I feel like we have to bring this up because during COVID we sort of stopped talking uh, about yes. obesity and about these risks. Uh, every state has an obesity rate over 20%. One third of adults over 60 uh, are obese. Uh, two thirds, 32.5% uh, overweight. So that means two thirds of adults are obese or overweight. Uh, there's no way, is there a way to come back from this at this point in our society? There is a way, and we have to become more exercise conscious. So the article in the Wall Street Journal, which you've been quoting, indicates over-exercising, but most people under-exercise. They use their uh, Peloton or their stationary bike or their elliptical as a coat rack. They hang their clothes on those things. And people just don't know how to exercise. And it might be worthwhile to spend a couple of hours with a trainer to learn how to exercise properly. Yeah, and so then, you're right. And then, and, then they tell, and then they tell you, but by the way, I read a study that said I was supposed to drink two glasses of wine. So here I go. That one they pay attention to. Doc, it's good to see you. <laughs> good to see you, Leland. Thank
Thank you. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.